My name is Roxy and thank you so much for hitting play. I am here today to invite you to join me on a three-day meditation challenge. This particular challenge is for you if you, you feel a little bit scattered sometimes and you feel like you need a little bit more grounding in, in your day and also would like to cultivate a meditation practice and journaling practice but you're not sure how to start, hang with me because I will take you through it. First of all, what's going to happen? If you sign up to the challenge, you will get one email per day uh, over three days and as part of the email, what you will receive is one video to a meditation, a five minute meditation that you can do on your own. I will guide you through it and you'll also uh, receive a link to an article about the particular breathing technique the meditation that we will cover in the video and I will also send you journaling questions. Each of these activities will take five minutes each. So the video will be for five minutes, the link to the article will be a five minute article um, and journaling questions are for you to, um, to, to prompt you so that you can journal over five minutes and the next day you'll receive another email and then what will happen? You'll receive the same, same information. Um, we'll go through a different breathing technique, but you will receive one video, one link to an article, one link to journal questions. And then day three, go through the same process of you receiving an email and links to three different pieces of information. And uh, the, the reason for this is, um, the reason we're doing this like uh, following this format is to create habits so every day you can get used to practicing meditation and you'll have di three different um, meditation techniques that you can practice on your own. Next question that does come up is why would you start a meditation practice? Meditation is so great. Uh, meditation it can help to activate your rest and digest system. So often through the week, a lot of people living it in a modern day lifestyle, we experience our body going into flight or fight mode, meaning we're always on, we're getting lots of notifications, lots of emails, lots of messages, we're getting pulled this way and that way. So sometimes our mind can be very busy. It's like, you know, always on, always on, always on. And so that ability to rest decreases. So with the, with the three day challenge, the invitation is there to come with me on this journey and I will support you with information and with tools for you to be able to cultivate your daily meditation practice. Um, start to think about journaling and also why would you do this? Why would you do these um, breathing exercises? So I am here to support you with practical tools, tips to help to cultivate calm basically. That's the, the intention here. Um, some information about meditation. So meditation, it's not a religion. Sometimes that comes up with students that I teach, I think it's a religion. It's not a religion. Meditation is for all people. It's practiced globally and uh, in different traditions, um, different cultures, different age groups, backgrounds. You don't need tons of money to do it, it's free, you can sit down wherever. Main consideration is that you're comfortable whenever you, you do meditate. So check in that you're comfy, you can sit evenly through your hips, you can um, you roll your shoulders back, soften through your body and create that space. Also, what you do need is time. Do you have to five minutes? And chances are, yes you do, we all have five minutes whether that's swapping out the five minutes that you might spend on social media or five minutes lying in bed, um, five minutes. We can manage five minutes. And you will find, or often people do find that when they start to meditate for five minutes a day, consistently that increases to six minutes to seven minutes and so on. The um, meditation, so meditation is really benefit beneficial for many reasons. One is that it does activate your rest and digest system. What this means is that you're able to be a bit more calmer and go through the day responding to things that come up. 
because so often when we're in our flight or fight mode, we can react and be able, being able to react is great. It's really great for, for us, but there is a time and place and being able to come from a place of intention and respond to what's going on is amazing because then you're really intentional with how you live, how you speak, how you engage in the world and you're, you're mindful of what's happening. Um, a meditation practice you can set the foundation for your day and if you think of it like housekeeping for your mind, this is what one of my teachers said to me once about the benefit of, of meditation and yoga. If you think about your house, how's your, your house looking now? And I'm not talking about material um, material things, but um, in terms of is it tidy? Do you dust the place? How do you feel when it is cluttered, when you do have a lot of dust around, versus when you have space, when you actually go through and clean it? How do you feel? There's a different energy to a clean and clear space to when it is cluttered. So, so that's something to think about with meditation and it's so beneficial. One thing I will say is meditation, it is really powerful, it's really potent and there are different types of meditation. There are silent meditation retreats where people go to and they don't speak for seven days and they're basically with their mind. Uh, there are other types of meditation where it's a movie meditation like yoga, yoga is a, is a moving meditation and um, many different types of techniques. So I'll be taking you through three different types of breathing exercises and they're really, really great for you to start with. We all have to start somewhere and I would love to take you on this journey uh, of meditation and journaling so so that you're, you're able to start your own practice and be able to go off on your own to be able to experience the benefits of meditation and journaling which leads me to my next point journaling why would you journal so often we're up in our heads and being able to create space in our mind and also writing down what's in our mind onto paper can help again like housekeeping, we're clearing the mind and getting up what's here down and out onto paper. So that's why I love journaling. Personally, to give you some background, I, I've been journaling consistently for about 10 years now. I, I love this work around meditation um, and yoga because I, you know, 10 years ago, um, I did really struggle with depression and anxiety, had trouble breathing, thinking clearly. And so since then I embraced a yoga practice, meditation and journaling practice. So what I'm sharing, it's, it's truly from my heart. Uh, this, this does work. It's, it's a tool to support you along with your additional support tools. Um, one thing to be mindful of is if you do feel anxious with any of the breathing exercises, stop. You don't have to uh, continue. Um, see how you feel and go from there. Yeah. So that that's the intention behind the three day challenge. That um, it serves you and supports you wherever you are and I can't wait to be able to meet you regularly for three days to take you through this information. Thank you so much and take care.